evening everybody good afternoon lovely weather again here in brighton and i hope it is equally as lovely where you are um today wherever you are in the world uh welcome um I'm so grateful to everybody that has uh, joined uh, my group and, and, and is uh, listening to some of the talks that I've been doing over the last couple of weeks on how to empower you to boost your immune system and boost your confidence in um, navigating yourself through this lockdown period and eat as it eases now with all the anxiety and confusion that that can bring with it, the changes on a daily basis that we're experiencing um, wherever you are in the world. Everybody's governments are uh, reacting in a different way, which can be very confusing. And now in England tomorrow, uh, we're being asked to wear masks in public uh, on, on public transport. And um, from a, a natural health point of view and a clinical psycho neuroimmunology point of view, which is my practice, um, there are problems with that. And um, actually in the group, uh, I've posted a very good video by a couple of my colleagues and they discuss all the science uh, behind why that could be problematical for certain groups of the population, uh, el the elderly and children particularly. Um, so it's just a good thing to go and have a quick look at. Um, uh, ask yourself some more questions. It's not that I'm saying to go against what we're being told to do, but just be very mindful of when you are uh, wearing a mask if you if you have to use um, transport. Hello, uh, I can't actually see who everybody is when you join, but do say hello. It's lovely to know that people are listening live, and if you're listening to the replay, uh, a very big welcome to you too. Um, and any questions you have, please do put them in the comments. I will ask, ask, answer them after the video. So today um, I wanted to talk to you about um, the amazingly powerful energy shifting times that we find ourselves in right here, right today. We uh, are in the midst of three eclipses uh, over the course of the month. We've had one um, and we're going to have another one on the summer solstice and another one at the end of the month. Hello again to whoever that is <laughs> as well. Um, and um, these eclipses have a very powerful, hi Kate, I can see it's Kate. Um, actually, I think you have to give StreamYard uh, permission to show who you are, if otherwise it just says Facebook user to me this end. Anyway, um, so back to the energies. It's very, very potent and powerful time for transformation, for, uh, for really getting in, in alignment with who you are, what you want in your life, um, how you envisage your life to be in an ideal world. And today um, we've got some planetary alignments that uh, make this the perfect day for inquiring of yourself, what do I want for me and my life and how do I envisage my life or my community or the planet? Hi Shelley. Um, and um, and it's a Saturday, so it is a good day. You know, a lot of people don't work over the weekends. So um, it's a day to get yourself into nature, to become grounded. You know, that's very important. We can hear our heart's uh, vibration much, much clearer because our heart vibrates, vibrates at the same frequency as the Earth's. Uh, magnetics uh, and we are electromagnetic beings aren't we so we can hear ourselves this is where our messages come from our heart and our gut you know that gut feeling and so when you just spend a little bit of time uh, quiet time with yourself grounded you can start to hear what is it that I'm being called to. And when you come across some thoughts popping into your head, don't, don't censor them at all. You know, it doesn't matter if you think, oh, well, I couldn't possibly do that because of X, Y, or Z. Shelve all those thoughts. 
that's just fear coming in, fear of change, and that's normal. The the uh, the brain will will definitely kick in and 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 give you all sorts of obstacles. But let, let's shelve that. Let's use this as an imaginary tool. And uh, what I wanted to say about uh, this energy that we're in at the moment is that uh, if we use positive energy moments, it can be much more powerful and we can have this sort of uh, clarity that sometimes we can't uh, achieve at other times. And how does this relate to the immune system? Well, it relates entirely to the immune system because remember with all of this series, I've been talking about how any stress will create this cascade of uh, 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 hormones, uh, neurotransmitters, stress response, fight, flight, stress response. And that causes inflammation. That has a very, very uh, big impact on the immune system because the immune system needs huge amounts of energy when it's activated when we are under stress. And if we haven't got that wherewithal, it's really hard to keep up with that level of stress. And these are the moments where we can start to feel symptoms, physical symptoms, like maybe achy lymph, um, uh, headaches, brain fog, uh, tiredness, fatigue, uh, lack of sleep, all the things that I've talked about. And one of the stressors is not being in, in alignment with who you really are and what you really want for you and your life. And with uh, psychoneuroimmunology we look at one of the meta models is what we call text versus context and within that we're looking at the balance in our lives so if you imagine your life as a pie chart and you've three sections and they all have equal weighting ask yourself this question is my work in equal weight to my family and my social life and also in equal weight to my free time to do with what I want. Uh, you know, so is there balance in that? And within that, does my job, let's say it's a job, uh, does that uh, match my personality? Uh, or is that just my identity? And is my identity taking too much charge over my personality? So, so that can be a stressor as well. So if you're an introvert and you have a job that requires you to be an extrovert, you can imagine how much of a stress that might be or vice versa. Yeah, this might be an extrovert just bursting to be out there in the world and you're being required to contain yourself in a very uh, introverted manner during your working life. So again, maybe you're in, not in alignment with who you truly are. So what I'd encourage you to do today is just, if you can, allow yourself a little bit of quiet time, as I say, to be grounded. When we're grounded, uh, we are not at uh we're not we're not so at prey to other people's influences or uh or our own negative uh, mind speak um and we can still be in service but not at the cost to ourselves in life that's really important so everything needs to be a little bit in balance and really pick the must haves when you get when you start to have these thoughts or maybe you're writing down the list pick out the must haves i must have this in my life okay and only tune in to what's actually yours not what other people uh, are imposing upon you or what's theirs so really what uplifts you what delights you and you know it when you feel that that feeling don't you you know, you feel that little bubbling up in your stomach and that smile just spontaneously comes on your face and you can't help but just be like, oh, it's like tingles. And um, yeah, you know when you're lit up. Yeah, your eyes are bright and sparkly. Um, you just have that sense of inner energy that uh, starts to bubble up when, when you're on point with, with your true self.
and um, and we just need to let go of the fears let go of the fears so that you can put it into action whatever it is that's coming to you and it is about choice so like with a musical instrument you know you have a desire to learn a musical instrument you choose to practice every day you choose to become really an expert at that instrument so it takes um, collective dedication and focus okay so when you've decided upon what it is for you that you want to create in your life and after all we create our our world we can create our world um, then it's about taking action yeah conscious focused action and that has a ripple effect so we don't have to save the world we can save the world by this ripple effect if you like if that's your desire you know quite often we get a bit carried away with the bigger causes and we must give all our energy to them but actually if your inner world is resonating at a very high vibration and you have this wonderful intention for the world then your actions alone will have this ripple effect and it has an impact on the world that you would like to create for yourself so we can affect this on our relationships, on our um, uh, material world, uh, our spiritual growth um, and abundance in all of those areas and growth in all of those areas can come about when we do this internal reflection. And I really recommend that you do it every day. Um, imagination therapy is a thing. Uh, it's a scientifically uh, proven um uh, practice that rewires the neurological connections in the brain so that we do manifest what we what we want I'll just tell you a tiny little story um, so you know I moved uh, to where I live uh, 10 11 years ago now and for about four years I was on four or five years I was on the list for an allotment and I used to walk up through my woods and look across the allotment uh, site, beautiful, beautiful site, uh, nature reserve, like uh, like you, you you would just, just love, or I would love. And um, I'd look across and I'd say, oh, I would just would love to have that particular allotment mm -hmm. um, out of all the allotments, the 200 allotments here. That would be the one I would truly love if I could have one at all. I would love it. And um, and you wouldn't believe the the synchronicities that actually unfolded. But four years later, when they said, here's the allotment that we would like to give you, this one's come available, I just literally had my jaw drop, drop because I could not, could not believe it. It was that very one that I had intended, imagined, desired for four years. It was the one that they were offering me. So um, just a little story just to give you hope that that is actually the case for us all. We can all manifest what we want, but it's about getting very clear within you. And then that stress that I was talking about, uh, it, it falls away because we're in alignment with ourselves. And so, so that stress falls away and our immune system doesn't have to work so hard and so we can put in all the other wonderful ingredients to make sure that our body our immune system works really well so i'll leave it there today um, i hope you found that helpful and i wish you a wonderful saturday the 13th uh, with these potent energies to really uh, be fearless and you know be with people that uh, that you love and who inspire you as well um you know reach for the stars yeah that's my message today bye for now <laughs>